Welcome to Hagen Street Rods. This film will illustrate how to install Hagen hidden hinges. Step 1. Install the receiver tubes. Position of these tubes is critical, so let's go over a few things before we start. Here are three examples of pillars. We want to get the receiver tubes as far apart as we can and as plumb as possible. Make sure the car is level and mark a plumb line. Select a position for the bottom receiver and keep the receiver square with the plumb line. Then mark the position. The straight edge shows our position is parallel to the plumb line. Next select a position at the top. The top pin loop sets against the outside panel on this setup. Both receivers must set flush against a straight edge. The minimum distance between the receiver tube and the outside of the body is 5 eighths of an inch. Now draw a line connecting the outside edges of the receivers. The maximum distance between this line and the outside of the body is 1 and 1 quarter inch. Let's take a look at an early 30s pillar. They tend to taper at the bottom. We'll start with a plumb line. The bottom receiver is positioned 5 eighths of an inch from the outer edge. The top is in the maximum 1 and 1 quarter inch. On the early 30s, the max dimension will be at the top. Other vehicles may be near the bottom or middle, and on some, the belt line is the furthest point. So to recap, the minimum distance is 5 eighths, and the max is 1 and 1 quarter. The last dimension is the distance the center of the pin is to the edge of the pillar. This dimension is a minimum of 1 and 1 16th. So let's go back to the car and lay out the dimensions. First, mark the high point of the curve. Draw the horizontal line and mark 1 and 1 quarter inch from the outside. The new hinge receivers will not go in the stock location. Top tube will be below the original hinge and the bottom tube above. This will eliminate cutting into the original bracing. Select a position below the original hinge and away from the inner brace and draw a horizontal line. Now mark 5 eighths of an inch from the outer edge. Connect these two marks with a straight edge. The line must be on or to the outside of the maximum one and one quarter mark. If not, the receivers will have to be moved closer together. With the receiver tube position selected, mark the two inch by two inch sections to be cut. Step two, cutting in the hinge receiver tubes. Before cutting, reinforce the A-pillar with a temporary brace. Make precise cuts. Remove outer sheet metal and continue cutting inner support. Check for proper fit and trim opening as needed. Notice how accurate our outside cut is. The inside cut is not as critical. Step three, prepping the receivers for installation. With hinge pins installed, tack weld the nuts in place. Quickly cool with a wet rag.
hinge pin must slide in and out freely. The door stop pin will need clearance to slide in and out. Hold receiver in place and determine where to cut an access for the door stop pin. Warning, it's easy to weld receivers in the wrong way. The large hole along the pin goes towards the front of the car. The dome light switch plate must be welded to the back of the top or bottom receiver. The mount hole is off center and goes towards the hinge pin side. Step four, welding and bracing the receiver tubes. Hold top receiver flush and square to the cutout and tack weld. Do the same for the bottom receiver. If receivers are properly aligned, your straight edge will sit flush against the sides and the ends. Now cut back the outer sheet metal to expose the inner support. To avoid welding slag getting into the hinge pin hole, cover the hole before welding. Weld receiver to the inner support. Let cool, then weld to the outer sheet metal. For best results, complete one side at a time, then move on to the other sides. Dress the welds with a grinder, then bevel the edge with a file. Install the arms with the pins finger tight and clamp a piece of tubing to the arms. Swing the arms together as a final check for alignment. Bottom hinge will be stiff as it cams over the spring-loaded ball stop. A few pieces of one half inch tubing should be added to strengthen the A-pillar. Step five, install temporary alignment tabs. Alignment tabs hold the door in place while working on the hinge mount pockets. Weld the door tabs across the top. The A and B pillar tabs must be welded along the bottom. 